Hi, everybody. I'm Mel Dor, the Aloha Shirt Psychic, and I've got my button on. No one fights alone. We'll talk about that in a second. But I'm so excited. I have got Psychic Arthur in the house. Yay. Hello. They're going to be doing regular collabs in the future, and I'm excited about that. And so, uh, Arthur, you are already up to how many subscribers? 5.2. 5,200. Yeah. In I, fact, when I had reached 4.5 thousand, I had a contest. I could remember when you and I first started talking, I said, do your YouTube show, do your YouTube show. And I said, after X amount, you get monetized a thousand. And I kept saying, Mel, are you on crack? Are you on crack? <laughs> I said, maybe, but. And now what I tell everybody is I'm 66 years old, reinventing myself on YouTube. Who knew? Mel. Mel. <laughs> well, you know, Linda Grindel was so wonderful in getting me started. And she's helped so many of us. And, you know, I, for those who have the talent and the ability, we all have psychic ability, but some stronger than others, but you clearly have it and um, strong psychic ability. And, you know, I'd like to pay it forward. So anyway, yeah. uh, and anybody out there, I suggest that you get a reading from Psychic Arthur. He is amazing. And uh, um, your your website is Arthur, A-R-T-H-U-R, Ease, E-A-S-E, -E, your, Y-O-U-R, mind, M-I-N-D, dot com. Arthur, Ease, your mind, dot com. Go to his YouTube channel, subscribe, thumbs up. Um, and his YouTube channel is Arthur, Ease, your mind. Right. Uh, okay. As phone, opposed to number for, phone number for Arthur is 310-494-5955. That's my computer voice. 310-494-5955. You know, when Anthony Hopkins did the voice for Hannibal Lecter. Oh, really? When, no, when he did oh, the yeah, voice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Hello, duh. <laughs> He said he took a combination of Catherine Hepburn and Hal from 2001. Oh, I love that Hal from 2001. Yeah. yeah. I wonder who did the voice for that. I don't know. I went on a book back here somewhere, but. <laughs> yeah, you know, I do my Auntie Mel character. My friend Beverly, her son, Jamie, and I over the years have evolved the character. And, you know, I do my. Italian Taylor Street character. It's an Italian neighborhood. Yo, hey, what's going on? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I come up with all these characters in my head. So anyway, for you guys that want to know this, this well, is my, mine. Talk back to me. That's my problem. Well, me too, and I answer. Uh, this is my journey with oral pharyngeal cancer, and it says no one fights alone, and no one does. And uh, thanks to the community for standing behind me during that horrible time. But I think it's important to wear tonight because of what's going on in the country, yes. in the world, and that our voices will and shall be heard. I want to say hello, if it's okay, sure. to uh, my friends. I want to say hello to um, Carolyn Meanly in Houston and Mike. Uh, in Texas. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Mike. Um, and I was talking to Carolyn today. Well, she came to Italy with us. What a wonderful lady. She has so much fun. She's so cool. Um, and she was telling me about this abortion thing in Texas where there's a woman in Texas and she's, she's pregnant, but I guess 20 weeks or something. I forget the exact number of weeks. And it's the pregnancy is affecting her health. So she needed to have the fetus is damaged and she needed to have the pregnancy terminated. So the state of Texas, no, 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 no. Anyway, it went to the Texas Supreme Court and they ruled in her favor. They said she could because it's endangering her life. And Paxton, the attorney general down there, who's about as crooked as a barrel of fish hooks, <laughs> crooked as a barrel of rattlesnakes, meaner than a barrel of rattlesnakes, said that if she terminated the pregnancy, that he would sue all the doctors and the hospitals involved. Right. That's horrible. 
Well, actually, what happened was she was the the child is going to the fetus is going to uh, die. Right. Number one, number two. She's twenty months. Right. No, she, twenty weeks. Twenty weeks. She twenty weeks. She was so desperate to have a child. So this is heartbreaking to her. They went to court. A judge said that she would be allowed the abortion. Right. Then it was Ken Paxton that said, we're going to sue everybody. Right. And then they went to the Supreme Court in Texas and they sat on it. Right. And then they just last night, after they found out the woman had left, um, Ms. Cox had left Texas to have an abortion and get the health care she needed to another state. Then they ruled that she could not have the abortion. You know what? You know, if it's endangering her life and it's terminating a pregnancy with a fetus that's not viable. viable. These people, you know, that that do these sorts of things like Paxton and the, the, the people in the Texas Supreme Court or whatever, I'd like to know how many voted for it and how many voted against it on the, on the, on the Supreme Court in Texas. I um, believe all of them did. Well, then they need they're to... All, they're they all Republicans. Like, well, here's the deal. And here's what I see coming. Uh, this case, and people are going to go, remember this woman, remember this woman. This case is going to help turn Texas purple. My guides are real strong on that. Oh, yes. I agree. Um, you know, they talk about right to life, but yet they let people die they want to put razor wire up over the over the Rio Grande River. They take busloads of immigrants and they drop them in a cold city in the winter. They refuse to make people wear a mask for COVID when that was going on. And they talk about right to life. <laughs> it's um, you know, it's not right to life. They just want right to birth. But, you know, if this baby was born and if something and, and God forbid this baby would need care for the rest of its life, however long that is, they're the first ones that want to cut the social programs to take care of that child. Oh, yeah. And take it off of Medicaid or whatever needed. But right. the thing is now is when this woman returns to Texas, they can prosecute her because she went out of state. And if they try that, you know what? That's going to be hell. Let them do it. Yeah. Because here's what will happen. It'll go to the U.S. Supreme Court, and that's not going to be pretty. And that very thing is going to, and this woman's going to become a political activist. You mark my words. Oh, yeah. And I got a feeling she might run for political office, and uh, hopefully she'll win. But I want to tell you something. It's really, really, really going to make a lot of people mad down in Texas who say, how can you let this woman die? And now you're going to put her in jail because she went out of state to help her health? I mean... There's no laws that say you can't leave the state for health care. That's correct. And you cannot... And if that goes to the U.S. Supreme Court, even as conservative as they... Well, as goofy as some of them are, they're going to say she has the right to travel. She has the right to go out of state and seek treatment, medical treatment anywhere she wishes. Right. And they're going to say in Texas, yeah, but she went to end a life of a fetus. But in this but case, the fetus was already gone. That's my point. But in this case, I got a funny. Fe well, I don't have a funny feeling. I I predict intuitively that um, they're going to say you can't restrict people's rights to go out of state for medical care. Right. But it's this case that's going to help. I mean, women there are going to be hopping mad. And it's going to help turn Texas purple. So Carolyn shared that with me today. Yes. Um, and uh, I talked to Mike about it a little bit as well. So anyway, it'd be interesting to see what happens. It's going to, it's going to turn things around, and open up people's eyes. Because this is this is not just a Republican Democrat thing, and they're talking about humanitarian crisis. This itself for her is a humanitarian crisis. <laughs> it is it absolutely is um and so we'll see what happens yeah. but it's going to be a, a roller coaster right i did want to touch on that i thanks for doing that but um, i also want to uh, please tell part. everybody please most benevolent outcomes and prayers for them all everyone involved please. <clears throat> Agreed. Uh, i had a feeling when carolyn was talking to me that 
Texas will say when she comes back, they try to prosecute her. Well, let them because they won't be. I mean, if they prosecute her, it'll go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court and she won't. Well, you know, and you know what? It, what they're doing and they don't realize that they're making her a martyr. I was just going to say it's the martyr playbook. <laughs> That's right. You know, um, and they do it under the name of religion. That's not and religion. Freedom, that just, no, it's authoritarian, autocratic. It's authoritarian, autocratic bullshit. Pardon my language. Mm -hmm. I'll probably go to YouTube jail for swearing, but I had to say that. It's okay. I still love you. I'm the potty my. I'm the potty mouth psychic anyway, so don't worry. I about know. It. You can say, you can think the f word. You just can't say. Fudge. I swear, like fire a truck has all the letters. Fire truck. There you go. Fire truck. Oh, fire truck. Yes, <laughs> I like that. All right. So hi to hi to Carolyn Meanly, and Houston and Mike. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so the other thing I wanted to touch on really, really quick was McCarthy leaving Congress. And I think they're going to be left with like a three of the house with a three seat margin. Mm -hmm. But when I concentrated on it, my psychic light bulb went off and I saw that there's going to be at least two more Republicans leaving. So. Yeah, but don't forget, they also want to get Mendez out. Well, we'll see where that goes. Democrat. Well, but. But, I, but I've been predicting that Others may leave. They will. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not talking about Santos. He's he's gone. But um, <laughs> go ahead. Little Georgie pumpkin pie kissed the boys and made them cry. Uh, <laughs> or girls, whatever. Linda Grindel said he took his mink. <laughs> I said he he needed his pearls. He, he's saying he will plead guilty if he does no jail time. <laughs> Sounds like Trump, doesn't it? Well, I I still I've been saying for years he has to get to know the song "When You're Good to Mama." Chicago, <laughs> good to mama, mama's, mama's good, good to you. you. The keeper of the clink. Exactly. I love that. I love Queen Latifah in that movie was amazing. Oh yeah, she's kind of like an Auntie Mel. I I was blessed enough to see the original cast. Oh wow, that Jerry Buck and wow. Gwen Vernon. One of these days we got to talk yeah, about man. the stuff you've done. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, but there are laws. <laughs> <laughs> Go keep it clean. I I just tell everybody I'm thank my lucky stars. There was no um, social media when I was growing up. Oh yeah, we'd be like <laughs> I'd be learning the Quran by now. <laughs> uh, somebody asked here. Who will get rid of Matt Gates first, the House of Representatives or a court jury? And somebody responded, Michelle Bolden said he hasn't he isn't going anywhere until his term is up. And I agree with her on that. He's going to stay in the House until his term is up. But I see a lot of court issues around him and I see investigations. I also see more stuff with the ethics committee, like what they did with George Santos coming forward. OK, but at some point. I do. His, his I days do, are numbered. I for, foresee him under indictment. Yes, I agree, hundred percent. Pity. <laughs> All righty. Uh, you've got questions. I've got questions. But let's. Oh, Karen Carpenter asks, "Why do well, birds suddenly?" Not that Karen Carpenter. We're not channeling her spirit. I did that on Linda's show, by the way. You channel Karen Carpenter. Yeah, she said, what do you think about uh, Trump and the rest and what jo what Smith is doing? I said, I started howling. And she said, well, I said, Karen Carpenter just whispered, we've only just begun. <laughs> Judy Garland is whispering Meyer somewhere over the rainbow. Because <sighs> <laughs> that's where they're all going to go. And it ain't going to be a nice place. No, a little warm. Bring oh. your warm shirts. Um, warm place, don't want them. What would be worse than that? Being like this Arctic kind of Antarctic climate where it's really cold and you have to like not have enough heat and you're shivering and oh well. <laughs> uh -huh. I would just make him a lunch lady at some like school. No, that's too good. Yeah, that's true. Um I think they should have to come back as um, 
Well, if they're cockroaches, they don't know they're a cockroach, you know? Mm. Um, I think they... Never mind, can't they say them? I can't say it because it's too cruel. <laughs> I know. This little... <laughs> who, who gets this channel shut down? So. Yeah, you know, we're not going to... No, you're on my show. We ain't going to YouTube, Joe. Okay. okay. Karen Carpenter asks... Yes? How will SCOTUS, United States Supreme Court, rule on Jack Smith's latest motion to decide whether or not Trump is immune from criminal prosecution? Well, if they don't hear the case, but they are uh, hearing the case. Yes, I know. They are hearing it. And Jack Smith is brilliant the way he leapfrogged. Either either you're reading my mind or I'm reading yours. And this is a brilliant, this is a brilliant. Uh, chess move on his part well the appeals court took them almost a year to decide that he was for the civil cases that immunity does not hold for him it doesn't because so, it doesn't hold for the state i don't think no but i'm just saying no for all the people that went against trump during dc insurrection right so they said no he's he's the immunity doesn't work here and so what Jack Smith did, and I feel the Supreme Court, to their chagrin, is going to say, or to his chagrin, is going to say, you know, immunity doesn't count. You have no, no presidential well, immunity. He's trying to argue. You're no that, longer a president. Well, what he's trying to argue is it happened when he was president, so he was immune. But presidents under the Constitution are not immune from prosecution. It was just kind of a, it was just, Gentlemen, it was just. It. It was kind of a not Unwritten. a law, but it was just kind of an understood thing that that um, setting presidents shouldn't be prosecuted. However, or indicted, he was not, or indicted. He, he was not doing presidential work. He was campaigning, and there's a difference. But the bottom line is, there's that kind of unspoken rule, but it's not a law, and it's not in the constitution. Right. And I think the Supreme Court's going to say, "Wait a minute, you know, if you commit a crime, even if." He, Trump is going to say he's president. He was immune. The Supreme Court, I think, yeah. is going to say wrong. Right. It's after the fact. Jack Smith is, well, what he's doing is every angle he's anticipated that Trump's going to take. Oh, yeah. He's, he's putting roadblocks up at every single angle. And he's also brought in some brilliant people, like oh, yeah. the guy he went to to get the, to figure this all out. I mean, he's brilliant and has argued like 20 cases in front of the Supreme Court. I forget his name, but you know, he's off playing checkers and and or tiddlywinks, and Jackson's off playing four dimensional chess. And well, I agree with you. Trump, they can't even do tiddlywinks. It's like they're busy trying to count their fingers. You know, they can't even do that. <laughs> but I, I do disagree with you on this when you're saying he's playing four dimensional chess. Oh no no no, he's playing a hundred dimensional chess. Yes, beyond he's, that. Yes. He's beyond the guy's brilliant. And um, you know, Eileen Luce Cannon, I see her off the bench at some point. I get her out in February. Oh, I don't know about February, but I see her gone. I get her out in February, March, because um the last thing she did, Smith can appeal it. Everything she's done has been shaped shuffling paper around, so there's nothing to appeal. But the last thing she did, he can appeal. What so did I, she do? I don't she, even know. She's done so much. Oh, just just oh god, what was it? And they all blend together, all the court cases. But I just remember reading that the latest thing she did can be brought to appeal because it's not about shuffling the dates. There you go. How does it do with the, um, okay, what is it called? With all the secrets and. and... Oh, I got you. Yeah. Well, she's not the brightest crayon in the box, that's for sure. No, no. No. But I like this other judge, the the federal judge. I can't think of her name right now. Uh, Chutkin. Yeah, Chutkin. She's Chutkin. not going to put up with any BS. Nor will the, what's the guy's name? Aragon, the guy in, Aragon. in, in yeah. New York. Aragon, whatever. And the guy and the judge also in uh, Georgia is not going to put up with any BS either. Mm -mm. No. We shall see. <laughs> no, I, I, I really feel that um, he's this whole thing also going to the Supreme Court about him, um, about the appeal, it's just going to like 
go nowhere. So, you know, they can even say you can keep on going with this. We may not have ruled on it, but you keep on going. You know, would say it's a nothing burger. Exactly. With the nothing on the side. <laughs> with plain sauce. <laughs> yeah. Imagine oh, it. Imagine that. <laughs> okay. Oops. I lost my thing here. Here we go. Okay. Um, Toned8508 says... It's been predicted that an apparition of the Virgin Mother will appear in 2024. Do you see this? And if so, where in the world will she appear? I'm not I'm not intuiting that at all. I mean, I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just not picking up on it. I was just thinking Madonna was going on tour again. Who? Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I, I don't see it. I don't know. I like that. Oh, God. Is she really going on tour for, for real? I don't know. Let's we'll ask her. We'll call her up. Yo, Madonna. Yo, Madonna. Yeah. I'm telling you, Maron. That's dialect from the Madonna. Yo, Maron. You going on tour? I want a first row seat, okay? <laughs> Are you going to be voguing anytime soon? Arthur wants one too. All right. Put all of our friends in there and you can take yeah. us backstage. Yeah. How's that? I like that. That's my Italian godfather. I'm part Italian. I can do that. Okay. Alex Navalny. People are asking about Yes, I got lots of questions about him. All right. So what do you think? Or what do you psychically predict or intuit or whatever verb that we use for whatever we do? I make this stuff up and hope it happens. Uh, no, it's just that. Again? I make it up and hope it happens. No, it's. What I got here was the last thing they want to do is make him into a martyr. However, he'd been gone for six weeks. I felt that he was on a hunger strike. I felt they took him, put him in a hospital so he wouldn't be on a hunger strike and force him to eat or whatever, or force feed his body to take stuff. My feeling is he's still alive, but you know, if barely. If Putin pushes him out a first floor window <laughs> and yeah, says it's it's suicide, like he always does, um, it's a huge mistake because Putin doesn't, doesn't realize it, but he is becoming a martyr. Not Putin, but Navalny. No, that's what I'm saying. Navalny is. Right. He and, is. In and fact, his people have put Navalny. up big signs, Happy New Year, all over Russia. And then there's a little code, and you look at the code, it tells you, you know, not to vote for Putin. Well, I was just going to say, I hadn't seen that, but a lot of the people in Russia are really pro Navalny. And it's just like years ago with Lech Walesa in Poland, and he's the one to, yeah. called Dernosk, and that helped, helped this whole movement in Poland to, along with Karol Wojtyla at that time, who later became Pope John Paul II, mm -hmm. uh, helped this whole movement, this, you know, break away from the Soviet Union. And that started the whole Glasnost Perestroika movement. Uh, meaning openness and freedom. So my feeling is you're right that Navalny, dead or alive, will be a, will be a martyr. And I, if, I keep on if, getting in three weeks ago, to that he killed himself on a hunger strike. The people aren't going to buy that. No, I feel that they'll be putting IVs in him so he doesn't die. Exactly. And I get I kept on getting last night looking because I had other questions about it from other people is I say within three weeks, not in three, but within the next three weeks, we will know the truth. It'll come out. I still see he's alive. I don't see he's crossed over. I don't think so either. Uh, but regardless, it's going to coalesce the whole world against, well, many people in the world against Putin. No one fights alone. That's exactly. Um, and okay. um, many people in Russia against Putin. The people are going to start saying, we're not afraid. Your gulags can't hold all of us. So I thought it was appropriate to wear this. This next one, I can't. Sheila, something critical thinker. I can't. It says, hey, Auntie Mel, thank you for being you. And thank you. I'm always me. <laughs> um, will we get the ERA be something within the next three years? I can't read the word. R -E -A -T. No, R-E-A, R-E-A-T-I. I think it's ratified or something like that, but she's, I just can't. It's R-E-A-T-I-F-I-E-T. -E I don't know, but 
I see I see equal rights amendments going through. All right. Uh, I think she's talking about equality for women. And I see a point in this country when, you know, it's equal salary for equal job title. Um, and just the fact that a female doesn't have a certain part of the anatomy <laughs> at some point won't make a difference as to how much they get paid. Mm -hmm. And I see a point in time where the government keeps their eyes out of our bedroom and their eyes outside of a female's uterus. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, when things go start changing in 2025, I just get a lot of new laws are going to be put on the books. A lot of Joe Canyon laws are going to be taken off the books. And it's about for humanity. I agree. I agree. I see new members of SCOTUS. Yay. So well, I've always said, and I, I'm, I hate to harp on this, but we have nine Supreme Court justices. The reason why we have nine is because when they're voting for it, we had nine appellate courts. We now have 13 appellate courts, and I've been saying in the next four years, four to five years, there will be 13 Supreme Court justices. That's the way I read it. I feel the same thing, the same way. But I think Biden didn't want to do that right now because he, no, could, he can't. Okay, because then it would set a precedent for then some of the magas to stack the court. And, right. But right. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm sure Mitch McConnell is sorry that you know, well, SCOTUS, you know, but I'm sure he's sorry that, you know, that it took the turn it did with all these MAGAs. <laughs> well, you know, Kevin Chandler said the party's imploding, and it is. The oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, when you know, when MTG is their Madonna, I don't oh, think so. Right. I once said that I can't wait till MTG has her, my tragic girlfriend, has a uh, come to Jesus meeting with Jesus, and he bitch slaps her. <laughs> that's something anti me i would do i'll bitch back you in a minute yeah and then I, I actually as a joke i saw one of linda's shows she was talking about the book so i said here's the first picture of a here's one of the chapters of a book and i sent her a coloring book col picture of a coloring book no i think it, i should i think that we should write that she should i think mtg should write a book called how i was arrested by the fashion police <laughs> Or how I have no gay friends that are groomers. <laughs> that was good. <clears throat> <I cried. laughs> or my gay friend hated me because look how I designed my dress. Well, that's what I was saying about Sarah's, Sarah's uh, Huckabee. Oh, Sarah with the pearls? Oh, good Lord. I want something to clutch on to. Well, I think she should share a pair with, with Santos. That'd be good. Maybe she bought them from him. Probably on his free uh, on his man. credit card that he used to, on somebody else's credit card. No, she bought the podium with that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, road card. I don't know what I, I'm not familiar with this case, and typically I don't like to go public on a forensics case because I've worked on so many murder cases and missing. I don't people. do them. Uh, well, I do them, but I don't go public with them. No, I don't talk. I mean, I don't talk about them. So she said, what has happened to the missing children in Ohio? I don't know what missing children. I don't know. Well, they uh, found all the people who abducted them might be brought to justice. I will just say this much about it. Justice will be served. Eventually. Is, is what I'm hearing. Eventually. Okay. <clears throat> well, we've already talked on this one. Will the Supreme Court decide in favor of Jack Smith's request for no more appeals by 45 and no immunity? Well, everybody's got the right to appeal. So the court might say he's got the right to appeal, but n no more immunity stuff. <laughs> no. no. I mean, he's not immune from pro prosecution. No, he's not. not uh, at all. The court will decide that because if they decide other than that, it's going to give everybody the right to say, well, Trump got by with it. Why can't I? And then everyone will run for... Um... Then we'll be all driving Sherman tags because all the laws and speed laws and all that stuff will go right down the tubes. Everything. Well, people, let's step out of the fear. Let it get behind you and push you forward. You know what? There's coming a time in America really soon when this small group of ultra right wing Christian nationalists, the um, the MAGAs, 
will no longer be able to control the majority of us, and they're not going to be able to push their pseudo-religious beliefs down our throat. Right. I said pseudo-religious beliefs, because for me, religion should be inclusive and about love, tolerance, not about, well, if you're gay, if you're this, if you're that, if you do, 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 then, you know, Jesus doesn't like you. Jesus, yeah, Jesus, he Jesus ran around with he ran around with twelve other men. None of them were married. <laughs> All wearing dresses. Never Jesus mind. Jesus has room in Jesus's tent for everybody. Yes. All right. Um, I got a question here. Yes. Hello, Arthur and Mel. Will Ken Paxton and his evilness ever get prosecuted? Yes, yes, and yes. Yes, I agree with that. One hundred percent. I wonder how he's going to look in sliders, those orange slider shoes. <laughs> when you go to jail, they give you these shoes. They're they're like these. Your feet slide into them, and they're orange. They call them sliders. <laughs> Not that I've ever been in jail. I haven't, but <laughs> I can see him in his sliders. You have to bling them up a little bit. We just call them slippers. No sliders, what they call them in jail, I think. Mm. All right. Well, speaking of sliders in jail. Hey there, you handsome duo. Thank you. This is some sweetie hey, darling Lulu. Oh, hi, hey hi, hi sweetie, dar duo. Sweet, duo. On. sweetie darling Lulu. They say the eyes are the first to go, girlfriend. You better get your glasses. Go ahead. And, um, will Stephen Miller be in trouble for January 6th? Maybe he will go to jail. I don't know if it's about January 6th, but he's going to get in trouble. I see. He is going to have a lot of problems for January the 6th. And, um, but he's the guy that, you know, for every child that was put into one of those, and I will call it a concentration camp at the border. Or concentration camps. The government paid $750 a child per night. And all they gave him was a piece of tinfoil. I know. You know that. A blanket. Oh, well, he's going to be in deep doo doo. And I feel, you know, I keep on feeling the realm is really. Now, know, if he went to jail, and they did that to him and gave him bad food, if he could even eat it, and tinfoil blanket. They call it a body insulating blanket or something. In a, in a floor. Oh, he'd be the first to scream. I'd just be there making a tinfoil hat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he... Um, I see him and I see him under investigation and I see him behind bars at some point. So yeah, I agree. Okay. Essential said, I'm an Aussie. Hello, Australia. But wonder if there will be any backlash or criminal charges against Christian. I say Ziegler. It's not in German it's pronounced Ziegler. Is that the guy from Florida? I think, yeah. The hypocrisy of these people astounds me. Okay, Essentials, I like the fact that you're an Aussie and that you're asking this question. You can ask any question you'd like. Maybe one of these days we'll be do political predictions about Australia and Canada, all right? Um, so I see a huge backlash against him. I love the fact his name is Christian. I know. Yeah, how Christian is that, right? Mm -hmm. They were the ones, I think his wife was anti-LGBTQ and they were saying- She was Moms for Liberty. Right. And they were doing like same sex three ways. <laughs> Whatever they were doing. Menage trois. <laughs> a collection of three. And um, so the very things that they were saying was so sinful was the very things they were doing. And there's going to be a lot more coming up because when I think okay. of the throw, I'm thinking of uh, the moon, which means a lot of secrets coming to the surface. So. And is, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's going to be really scandalous. Uh, you know, we're coming into the age of truth. Yeah. And that's good. And don't forget, tomorrow we start Metro, we start a Mercury retrograde. So um, you had to tell me that. No. I wondered what was going wrong. We had trouble connecting with the Zoom guys. Oh, so everything's really... going haywire. Any kind it's of. that way for the last week for me, I swear to God. Oh, it's like. All right. This is a good one. Jamie Joe says, will Congress fund Ukraine before the end of the month? I do see you. I do see funding for Ukraine. It's not over. What I get is. If they do not give anything. 
because don't forget they're also meeting with um the republicans have the meeting Zelensky with was just Zelensky was just here yeah but the republicans have been secretly meeting with orban victor orban who is with this who? victor sorry. orban who's that hungarian prince to, hungarian president who's best friends with putin oh the right winger yeah but they're also meeting with him privately and he's trying to get them not to give money to ukraine i feel if they don't give money to they'll give something not enough but i do feel that biden has something up his sleeve he does he absolutely does and they're just gonna like and you know what that secret meeting they're having or that private meeting they're having with the hungarian prime minister president really I don't know if that's insurrection to support Putin, but what's going to happen, there's going to be somebody who's going to leak that. Oh, yeah. That's going to come public and it's going to really, 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 really. Yeah, he's the prime minister of Hungary. And uh, the one that just, the Trump name. has been talking about in his in his, his um, roadshow. The name didn't ring a bell, but I know who he is. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he's going to be in power long either. No, I... I well, the thing is, when he got into into power, he took away the press, he took away voting rights, he took away everything. I still don't see him being that successful. No, I don't see it. But I'm just saying that this is what, you know, when, when Trump said he'll be dictator for a day, for a day? No, he's going to be dictator forever if he gets just it. Just like the guy in Hungary. But we have to vote. I see the people in Hungary standing up at some point too. Mm. But I, my guides are telling me, I, I, I predict that there's going to be somebody in that meeting or a couple of people that leak out what happened. Oh yeah. And ooh, it's going to be scandalous. And that they tried to make some kind of under the hand pack, like if Trump wins or whatever, then, you know, mm -hmm. no Ukraine and blah, blah, blah. And maybe even try to get some dark money to Putin. But, um, <clears throat> you yeah, know, well, I've, I've also been rejecting. Clearly, I think Trump and his cronies are clearly behind this. You know that. Oh, yes. But I also feel that, and I've been predicting this, that I don't see Putin on, on this plane after April. I, I see him gone. I don't know yeah. what happens. I'm, no, I'm just saying that I feel he may be going to the great beyond. By the time we hit April 1st. I've been saying that for about a year now. For him, there is no great beyond. Well, for him, there will be. Maybe when he crosses over for the, or when he croaks for the people in Russia. Well, be. that's what I'm talking about. I don't, I feel he may not be here. He may be assassinated mm -hmm. or he may not. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him around. But um, back to this thing. You know, I think though the this probably the MAGA Republicans that are meeting with this Prime Minister of Hungary. Yes. I, don't, I don't think all Republicans are. No, 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 no. It's it's the it's the hard, crazy it's MAGA right wing Christian nationalists. And you know what? That will cease at some point. I heard a story. I watched on YouTube. There was a, a Jewish man from a village. I think it was in Poland. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, during World War II. <clears throat> and when the Nazis came in, you know, about 90% of the people in the village became Nazis and pro-Nazis and this and that. And he said, after the war in that same village, there wasn't a single Nazi, meaning, or Nazi supporter, that those same people who had proclaimed their allegiance to the Nazis after the war, all of a sudden, oh, we don't know anything about it. They crawled back in the woodwork. And that's right. what is going to happen here. These MAGA ultra right wing, so called Christian nationalists, they're going to crawl back on the woodwork. Right. I was talking to a friend of mine in Texas, and he said, you know, the exterminators bait the cockroaches and they take it into the nest and feed the whole nest. That's exactly what's going to happen here with the MAGAs, MAGAs, however you say it. <laughs> Maggots. Well, <laughs> whatever. It's, it's an insult to a maggot. Oh, well, we're talking about insects. So. I know. Um, Which volcanoes do you see erupting? Asked uh, Karen Stanius. Um, 
Well, the, there's one big quakes. In Indonesia that's like Krakatoa. That was huge. That was a huge volcanic eruption. But I, always, I mean, there's something, you know, we all know the Iceland one, but I don't see it becoming Mount Vesuvius or anything. No, no, no. Iceland volcanoes are always like, yeah. uh, I'm not worried about that. Um, I don't see that uh, mega eruption in Naples that everybody's worried about, but that's not right. Vesuvius. There's an underground volcano there that's huge. Um, you know, I do see some eruptions, but not but not humongous. I mean, um, what was I saying? There was a volcano. I was just mentioning it. Oh, what was I? Uh, hmm. I lost my train of thought. I don't see any Mount St. Helens. Put it that way. Oh, um, oh, goodness. Not the Icelandic volcanoes, but I lost, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, if there's eruptions, they're not major. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe some in the Caribbean, um, but I'm not sure. I'm I, like I said, I'm not really feeling much. But not like oh, Indonesia, the sun, uh, uh, the I think it's called the Son of Krakatoa. Krakatoa erupted in the 1800s, and mm -hmm. oh, I mean it was a huge, huge volcanic explosion. That tsunamis alone killed oh, so many people. You know, I think there will be eruptions. I mean, it's erupting and it's 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 building another volcano right. it's gonna erupt but the whole island's not gonna explode yeah it won't be like Montserrat that just blew up and disappeared well Krakatoa was even worse than that yeah anyway okay so I feel Ukraine getting funding yes yes you're right Biden has something up his sleeve okay Hello, Mel and Arthur. Special counsel David Weiss overlooking the Hunter Biden case. He keeps flip-flopping on decisions. Is David promised something or political pressure? What do you see for Hunter Biden? Gun charges, taxes, and testify in Congress, go to prison. Thank you. Well, this is like five questions in one. Well, I think that the whole thing with Hunter Biden, because it's an election year, is I think it's the deceive, divert, detract, distract, divide, and destroy. That's what Trump tries to do. I think I think it's 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 a diversion. You know, I don't know if he's innocent or guilty. Let the courts decide that. But if he is guilty, then pay the price. But the same token goes to Republicans who have committed crimes. So yes. they're all going after Hunter Biden. He did this and he did that. But some of the things that they've done is much, much worse. So if he's found guilty, pays the price, they should too. Mm -hmm. But I see Hunter Biden suing Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, I, I see him filing a lot of lawsuits that he's going to win. Yeah, the uh, the revenge porn. Right. Against uh, her. But I also feel he's going to, in the long run, I feel he's going to be okay. It's hell that he has to go through. If his last name was, you know, Jones, none of this would be happening. It's not going to bode well for David White. Why is I can tell you that right now? Yeah. Yeah, I I don't think he was promised anything per se. I just don't think he has that strong of a case. No, it, it's 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 just I don't think he's that smart. I mean, they're going after him for taxes, and Trump didn't file taxes, and and, Trump, and but, but, Trump falsely him, Trump falsely he, inflated his property so he could get bank loans and didn't pay tax on the property, and, and so we would have to pay high taxes, like Malago listing it as you know. A resort as opposed to residence. Right. I mean, all of the above. And less tax. But I mean, Hunter it, already paid back his taxes. That's my point. So, but, you know, they, 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 they don't say anything about Trump. It's a witch hunt, but yet they go after Hunter Biden for doing this much and they do this much and they want to get by with it. Mm -mm. Justice is blind. Justice works for right. it's, it's, it's like somebody lighting a match and behind them is a whole building on fire and they're just going after the person that lit the match correct all right um cynthia asks will katie cox return to texas will she and her family be all right what will her impact in texas and the u.s be that's the woman who had the abortion oh i got it oh, oh, oh i see i got it well, she if she you know if she returns it. Well, I don't know if they swear out a warrant for her, but I think whatever state she's going to, if she doesn't go back to Texas, they're going to say we're not going to extradite it. Try extradite her back to no. Texas. No, they won't. Uh, it's her free will. I mean, it's her. It's her. But if they do arrest her, 
um, I'm telling you, it's going to go to the Supreme Court. It's going to get ugly for them. It's going to get ugly, but she is be- going to become a real champion of women's rights. Their, their, you know, the right to choice, and and their right to um, to their own bodies. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's really strange that a bunch of older middle class white men are are telling women what they can do with their bodies. No, well, because they can't tell their wives. I'm sorry. Because they can't tell their wives. Right. <laughs> well, you know, I wonder how many of their girlfriends have had to terminate pregnancies. Exactly. That's going to start coming out too. You mark my words. That's a psychic prediction. Oh yeah. I agree a thousand percent on that. Okay. Uh, Barb Mecca says, hi, Mel and Arthur. Do you see a serious terrorist incident occurring in the U.S. next year as a result of financial support of Israel and their intense war in the Gaza Strip? I see some terrorist activity, um, but I do see this war ending uh, in in Gaza. Uh, In fact, you know, there's innocent people there being killed. I know. Uh, and that's sad, no matter what religion you are. It, it, um, but I think what's going to happen is once that war is over, Netanyahu doesn't want it to be over because it keeps attention from the crap he's pulled. Right. But I think, you know, Iran and Russia or Putin was behind that Hamas attack and right. helped them orchestrate it because they wanted attention taken off of Ukraine. Right. Exactly. But it's gonna I, I see the Gaza thing ending soon and then attention turns back to Ukraine. Well, I've been looking to see if there's gonna be a ceasefire, and I feel a ceasefire the latest it would be the end of January. But before then it'll be these moments of okay, everyone just slow down. We gotta get aid in there, you know. I agree. Um, I, don't, I don't feel huge terrorist attacks in the United States because of what, because of it. I see little pockets here and there, just crazies, but not like a concerted effort. I'm more worried about, you know, terrorism, meaning the, the crazies here, the cray craze take guns. These ultra right wing people that have been radicalized and think it's okay to go out and kill a bunch of people. You know, I see an increase in mass shootings, unfortunately, and they need to do something. We do not need AK-47 assault weapons. We just don't. No, no. Those weapons no. aren't made for hunting. Those weapons are made for killing. And they show pictures, you know, of what the guns do. to people. Oh, you don't want to think about it. I've worked on a lot of murder cases. With, but you don't want to. I know. So, I've seen it. It's stuff from your worst nightmare. Okay, Puppy Dog Diesel, I love that, Puppy Dog Diesel, <laughs> says, is President Zelensky's safety being protected? How is his health? I think he's being protected, and I find him healthy. I get him being protected by upstairs as well. The I'm angels. sorry. The angels upstairs. Oh, yeah. I... Very protected. Um, all right. Tony A. Tube says hi mel and arthur just wondering if florida will be hit with major hurricanes this year or next year i think some of them are going to whip up through the gulf coast and i, I think, think both sides texas is going to hit but get hit with some too that whole galveston area i get both sides all right but not in the winter um glenn bird says Will Trump have a major medical mental health problem? He's already got a mental health problem. After the New York civil trial judgment takes his business, his buildings, and and more towards $500 million. You know, I've been saying for a couple of years that Trump needs to watch his health, especially the head area. I don't mean mental, but I mean stroke or something like that. I've always said he's too, like it's a cheeseburger away from a heart attack, but <laughs> I've I never saw him crossing the finish line. Me either. I mean, when I try to see a long term future for him, I can't see anything. Right. What does that tell us? When I'm in to know. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, the guides do that sometimes where they don't tell us stuff because if we know too much, we'll mess it up. Yeah, that's what I tell my clients sometimes. It's like, well, when I, it's like they're not telling us because if you knew, you would mess it up. <clears throat> okay, so Elaine, Elaine Arnoldi wants to know about you know, funding for Ukraine and is Israel. Um, I see, you know, I wonder if Biden could take some money earmarked for Israel and send it to Ukraine. I don't know if he can do that, but I'm, you're right. He's, I've been saying, my guys have been telling me, and I've known psychic group for a long time. My psychic light bulb went on that Biden is working behind closed doors. He's got something up his sleeve that's perfectly legal where he can help Ukraine. I also felt that there's a lot of money that they have, taken away from Russian oligarchs. From what? The, the Russian oligarchs. Right. Like the yachts and everything else. That could be fun, help the fund go back to Ukraine. So, There's something going on. I mean, it's like it's, I heard a yes with that. When you said that, I heard a yes. It's not a light bulb. It's more like a like a floodlight. <laughs> well, my psychic light bulb. Remember yeah. the old flash cubes, the flash like for the camera? Oh, yeah. And the flash bulb would go off. Like the paparazzis. That's, yeah, that's how I see it. All right. Uh, Yvonne says, I'm excited for this collab. And Sarah says, in this photo, Uncle Mel and Matt Damon. So there you go. Yay. So do you have more questions? We can we can do about two or three more. Um, I've had some of the same. I think some people went both our channels and asked okay. some of the qu same questions. Um. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got. I. I've got. Yeah. The, the Ziegler question as well. Let's see here. Let write them out. Um. I heard Vance? Vance a New York. A New York court has restricted um, the map drawing. So good. A redrawing oh. maps. So that. Will Milan? This is from Victoria. Will Melania eventually be found out as a spy and plant? I don't think she's a spy. I don't think she is at all. I think I think she'll be found out for who she truly is, but not a spy. Um, you know, I mean, she's clearly, I mean, when she gave that speech, it was like one she that was like from Michelle Obama. <laughs> yeah. I just saw that, though, apparently that she's upset that Jill Biden hired the Property Brothers to make over the Christmas decorations and everything for the White House. No, oh, say again. I didn't hear that. I heard that Melania is upset or her people are upset that Jill Biden had the Property Brothers decorate the White House for Christmas. Why is she upset by that? Well, she thought hers were so spectacular and brilliant. Remember those red Christmas trees that look oh, like the Handmaid's Tale? Yeah, well, they were ugly. Jill's is going to be amazing. And Melania had the Rose Garden torn out. So, yeah, exactly. I see it back <laughs> at the taxpayer's expense. Of course. Okay. But anyway. So, anything else you got, real quick, before we wrap this up? I just want to say congratulations on your 20,000. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Congratulations on your five. five. Yeah, I remember when we started, like I said, I was like, you know, I said, you've got to do a YouTube show. No. And I started with the guided meditations. Right. And then I said, in fact, yeah. um, the guided meditation I did a couple of weeks ago, I was going to put up was about unleashing your creativity. Re listening to the, it was a glitch. So I have to go back in the studio on Thursday and re, re record it. But at the same time, I'm going to re-release the winter solstice one on the 15th. And because you use the energy of the winter solstice to manifest the next coming year. And um, um, it's been remastered and remixed. So it sounds really wonderful. So that'll be pretty talking. But you're the one that got me to do the guided meditations. Tell you so tell me, get up there, start. And so but spirit is also saying, don't forget your intuitive psychic work. Oh, no, I'm 
Believe me, I'm I'm here. I'm doing shows. Bravo. All right, my friend. Uh, we'll set up another show maybe within the next week or two. Does Tuesday nights work okay for you? It does now. Okay. So yeah. we'll set it up and we'll keep them keep them rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. Really, really quickly, if they want to get a hold of you, Mr. Arthur, how do they do that? ArthurEaseYourMind.com. Here on YouTube, it's Arthur Ease Your Mind. And I have the links and everything needed. And there's a phone number, which I can't read off my card. You're all good. 310-494-5955. There you go. Thank you, Mel. All right, my friend. Happy holidays. We'll do it again before the holiday. How's that? Okay. All righty. Everybody, um, I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, Kim Copeland will be on my channel. And we will be answering just any questions you have, but make them specific. Um, personal questions we're going to do tomorrow night. And then Thursday, uh, I'm on Kevin Chandler's channel live. And so, um, and what do you have coming up, Arthur? I have, tomorrow I'm doing a show with Sherry. Sherry's sure, cool. Zoom Swamp. Sherry's, uh, she did, she arranged that. She and I Aiden, know. She and Aiden arranged that whole 20,000 uh, get together. They did a great job. I mean, I went out and bought a Hawaiian shirt for that thing. And then I messed up the time. So I didn't show up. Well, you but I've got, and I'm doing a show with Deanne, Shilman and Taryn, and I believe Val. And then in January, I'm with Susan Lynn. Oh, cool. Yeah, Susan's cool. They're all cool. Susan's fun. Yeah. Maybe uh, you, me, and Susan Lynn could do a collab. That'd be fun. Or I'm maybe four of us with Kevin Chandler. Sounds good to me. I want to have Kevin Lewis on more, all of that. So He's a sweetheart. Yeah, he's a nice guy. They're, everybody in the community is really nice. All right, my friend, you stay well. Um, and remember, everybody, no one fights alone. Let your voices be heard. You do not have to feel alone in your fear. Let it get behind you and push you forward. Take your power back. Love it. All right. All right. Good night. Stay well. You too.